लिख के लाया हूँ कई बार माचिस के अपना सिगरेट के पैकेट के पीछे डायलॉग लिख के आते सो यू आर लकी टू बी वर्किंग अनुराग आल्सो डिड द सेम थिंग उसने ऐसे एक ग्रुप को एक मिनट में लिख दिया बट ही इज आल्सो राइटर या सो ही प्रोबब्ली कम अप विद समथिंग हां तो उस सिचुएशन में ऐसे इनके बहुत सारी सिचुएशन आएंगी स्पेशली एज अ न्यू कमर व्हाट यू आई फील थोड़ा चेंज तो होना चाहिए 100% बट सपोज सम रोल इज गिवन टू यू ही मींस अ लकी <laughs> Suppose some role is given to you. I think you, out of choice, did not do those films. Mm. But I was on the streets for three years, and I needed work. Uh, I did not have the luxury of choosing. Uh, today's generation of actors have a great choice, mm. and could say. and that includes some great actors I means mr bachchan has done the maximum amount of work where is which is in real life totally unbelievable but he is doing with so much of conviction and this is what i always yeah. speak to uh, people abroad that indian cinema is larger than life would we do the most unbelievable things with so much of conviction that 1.4 billion people believe us nowhere in the world actors are revered the way they are act revered here we are part of their life will you do a comedy which i'm sure you are but you or do a role which is uh, not up to your sensitivity but it's a it's an interesting role yeah of course you will do that yeah. and you do not um, and it it makes you do uh, things which are not aesthetically something which are not uh, which you don't believe in as a person see i don't judge my characters um uh, but i cannot uh, get into a derogatory way hmm. i i don't want that it ha- it is written in a certain way or portrayed in a certain way which is derogatory uh if it's aesthetically better then i don't mind but it has to be you know like kept all the boxes ki okay we are not see honestly i'll tell you sir i i come from a small town i which is aurangabad all right so main jab yahan pehli baar aayi to initially i absolutely again i had no choice to theater with are you a trained actress yes sir i am trained from i studied in west bengal okay so uh, i came so there's a journey i from औरंगाबाद में पूना में पढ़ने के लिए आई थी फिर मैं वहाँ पे आई आई वर्क इन एडवर्टाइजिंग फॉर मैनी ईयर्स टू सपोर्ट माय एजुकेशन एंड देन आई क्विट वन फाइन डे बिकॉज द जॉय वाज ऑलवेज थिएटर एंड आई डोंट वांटेड टू गो टू एफटीआर बिकॉज आई वांटेड टू लीव पूना सो दे वॉज एक होता है ना कि आप एक जगह से आप निकलना चाहते हो तो अब निकल गए एंड बॉम्बे आ गई मैं सो बॉम्बे दर इज आई वॉज नॉट नोइंग एनी वन सो whatever save money i had this thing was was the first option which everyone was telling me and uh, i got a little uh, uh, this thing also and i joined there but that gave me a lot of uh, uh, confidence uh, and uh, when i came out from the whistling was of course i i joined uh, nasir sir's motley because i studied under nasir sir and rob reese from actor studio so uh, theater gave me a lot of space i started traveling uh, i started volunteering for a lot of social causes so that became my life but wahi hai ki chances choices to aisa aapko mil nahi sakte kyunki aap kisi ko bhi nahi jante ho yahan par aapko audition ke race mein to rakhna hi rehna hi padta hai so i used to audition audition and audition and audition but kuch nahi hota tha whatever little work i used to get ki kabhi ek scene kar liya kabhi ek scene kar liya but social work gave me a lot of space at that time i uh, started working in villages uh, and uh, the choices also became like that the literature opened up the world cinema opened up uh, and uh, social work gave me a very different kind of a base for me ki okay I, what kind of work i would like to do that doesn't mean that i have not done bad work then one senior yahan pe kar liya kabhi serial mein kuch kaam kar liya kabhi kuch kar liya just to little bit whatever support i had par uh, uh, angry indian goddesses jab mujhe mila it was 2013 14 which one 
angry Indian goddesses, yes. uh, yes. which was in um, Toronto Film Festival, right. which opened right. in Toronto. Pan Nalin, which is the film uh, Oscar. So, I met Dilip Shankar, who is again my mentor only. So, he, he taught me acting with a very spiritual way. कि आप एक किरदार में जब कैसे घुसते हो और आप उसको उसके उसके उससे बाहर कैसे आते हो तो that whole process of you know and I've learned that you know how beautifully Nalin and Dilip Shankar handle actors on set how beautifully the team the Swapna our uh, DOP our everyone was understood what we are we all were doing you know uh, they were giving us space but they were uh, you know handling all of us so emotionally very well तो मुझे ऐसे लगा कि ये सेट होता है दो आई वर्क छोटा बोटा यहां ना जहां पे ऐसा कुछ लगा नहीं कि यहां पे कोई रिस्पेक्ट मिलती होगी किसी को एंड इट्स जस्ट अ स्टार विल कम एंड दैट पर्सन विल ओनली गेट रिस्पेक्ट रेस्ट इज लाइक अरे अरे क्या कर रहे हो यार यहां पे सो आई लर्न द रिस्पेक्ट एंड लव फॉर सिनेमा थ्रू विद एंग्री इंडियन गॉडेसेस वहां से थोड़ा सा फिर जर्नी शुरू हुई एंड देन चॉइसेस बहुत कम मिलते थे but then I, uh, my social work started, so I adopted one village where I worked on water and everything. So I have used to started spending more time in my villages, uh, working for farmers of Marathwada. And then I got a small one, then Durga, then Kahi, Manto, then Sacred Games, then I went to make a school, I made a school, I made three schools in the village. So then I spend more time there because I feel that I'm showing the stories on screen, like Durga or Lakshmi from Goddesses, is still suffering on ground. And I don't know, there's something shifted in me. Yes, it's still suffering on ground. And I don't know, there's something shifted in me that I will do work, but if I don't do on-ground action, and if I don't do people's lives, I can't only do the cinema. I don't have to do the work for that. Because I come from a farmer's background. My father was a farmer, so वो shift हुआ and the choices also became like that and so that doesn't mean that I didn't took bold decision. I took bold decision because I believe कि as an actor I want to explore in every spaces. ये सब नए हैं और ये अभी तीन महीना course करके बाहर निकलेंगे और सबसे बड़ा होता है कि मैंने पंद्रह audition दे दिए, दो सौ audition दे दिए, काम क्यों नहीं मिल रहा, क्या luck luck ज़्यादा important है, या मेहनत ज़्यादा important है? I don't like to tell about what I went through, being a gold medalist from a drama school for three years, sleeping on the railway platforms, etc. etc. But and I think I belong to this generation also, but there's an impatience that मेरा कुछ हो क्यों नहीं रहा? So what is your advice for for people who are just going to get out of the school? Apart from auditioning, how should they conduct? You've gone through your own ups and downs of life. That's why advice from because you've experienced it yourself, meal will mean a lot to them. I've been on all sides of of the game, so to speak. Yeah. One is take auditions as an opportunity to just explore and expand your own craft. Yeah, um, there will be many auditions. Instead of seeing like, oh, I ye nahi mila, ag ye milega ke nahi, ab ye bhi nahi mila, wo bhi nahi mila. Instead of looking at it that way, look at it as though more and more opportunities to continue improving yourself. Then there's that case of you actually might do a really good audition, but you still don't get it. Mm -hmm. um, I think take out right and wrong from your vocabulary. There's no rights, there's no wrongs. Um, at the same time, I had a very idealistic view of the world. Like I, I wanted my ideals to be that which manifest and guide me and, and experiences I have are within that scope. It's not an ideal world. So instead of fighting that fact and feeling sorry for yourself or fighting back and getting angry, you just have to accept it and see what kind of a world is it that we live in. Because you'd be more disappointed if idealistic, but you won't be disappointed if you're just open to see, okay, what is it that this world is made of? Uh, 
as an actor, I think it's very easy to form in, fall into this sort of victim mentality, like, oh, so-and-so got it because of this and this reason, or I'm from this background, and so mm -hmm. I have it harder than that person who's from that background. When you start comparing yourself to others, even if what you're saying is true, it's not going to help you. It just isn't. Um, I hope acting is the space for you. I hope acting is the career that will be yours. But it doesn't happen for everyone. And that may be because you're not cut out for it. That also may be that you're brilliantly talented, but you still don't. I thought that if you're talented, definitely you'd make it. And you realize acting talent alone doesn't give you success. And there'll be many people out there who have all the talent in the world, but get nowhere. Because we live in a world which is not just delivering uh, your performance, it's how you conduct yourself, it's who you meet, it's how you um, adjust within this world of filmmaking and what are you willing to do, what are you willing not to do. Um, and so it's not an easy place to be. So if it doesn't work out for you, don't judge yourself. You know, it could That's be it could be that you didn't have the talent. That doesn't mean you don't have talent. It just means your talents lie somewhere else. But you're so stuck on acting that you're not looking at where your talents actually lie. It could be that you have talent for acting, but you don't have the talent to cut it in this industry and the way it functions and the way people function and the systemic uh, structures we have in position. Does that mean you should give up? Well, if you can't adjust to the system and it's constantly triggering you, then maybe you should choose something else, even though you have the talent.